Hey guys, it's Candice, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I wanna to talk to you about beginning balance in either a bank account or a check in savings account. So credit card or bank account, you have an opening balance, you either start an opening balance and it's off, or you never added an opening balance and you're not even sure exactly what to do. So I wanna show you a couple things. The first thing to think about is, um, I would ask you if I was working with you privately, where did the money come from? Did the money come from the owner? Was it a deposit from a customer? Was it a previous account and you transferred it? All of those things make a difference. Let's say that you say, well, I put money in as a business. What you can do is you go up to list chart of accounts. I'm assuming you've already created an account, but if you haven't, you would go under account, new, inside your chart of accounts, and then you choose a bank account and you click continue. You can, you can call it checking here. Typically what I recommend is the bank account that you have and the last four digits. So if you have Wells Fargo, you put a couple digits in there. Then down here, you can actually enter opening balance. This goes to an equity account and I'll show you in a minute. And then typically what accountants do is they do a journal entry and close into the retained earnings. So you can click enter opening balance. You pick a time frame. Typically what I recommend people doing, you can, you can try to do a book balance. You can try to do this. You can try to do that. The easiest is to grab a bank statement for the time frame. So if you're wanting to start the beginning of a new year and you have a mid statement, then you just pick the statement that includes the time frame. So if your statement runs like the 15th to the 15th, so December 15th to January 15th, you want to work in January, grab that statement and whatever the beginning balance is, you enter that. And you go ahead and you enter all the transactions that are involved in that because if you're on cash basis, they're not going to show up on your P&L anyway. That is more complicated than you understand. Don't worry about it. Just grab your bank statement, entering in your balance and you're gonna enter in, in that case, I would enter in your opening balance and then enter all the transactions, even though it says ending balance. And I would enter in the date, so it'd be the beginning date of the statement, okay? If that doesn't make sense, feel free to comment down below. And then you could click save and close. That's one way, And but that is not gonna give you, if you added the money as an owner, it's not gonna cover you that way. What you would wanna do if you were an owner is you'd want to do a deposit to the bank account and give yourself credit as the shareholder if you're in a corporation or something like that. Now, one thing I want to share with you guys before we go on to that point is if you did add a beginning balance, you can change it by editing the account and clicking change opening balance. And then what it does is it brings you in here. What you would do is you scroll up to the very top, find your beginning opening balance and change it. All right. Hope that makes sense. So what you would do is if you had an opening balance that you've already added, see here, like opening balance and it went to equity, you just go right over top and change it to what it needed needs to be. So if it needs to be $10,000, you change it to $10,000 and you click record and now you're, it's been updated. Now let's say it's a shareholder contribution. You would pick your date. You put the shareholder's name in you put it in for a deposit, and then down here, you would pick shareholder contribution, which is an equity, or capital in, which is an equity account. You're putting equity into your business. It's that simple. You can do it in the check register. If you prefer, you could technically do it inside your record deposit. Make sure you change it to the proper bank account, and you could do shareholder, do the date that you're starting the bank account. You could do a contribution, and you can do amount and you can do opening balance and you could do the person's name here as well. Beginning balance, whatever you need, and then hit save and close. And then that transaction will be saved, but you only need to do it in one way or the other. Then what that's gonna do is if you go back into list chart of accounts, you're gonna have your bank account balance and you're gonna see that under equity contribution right here, all right, or you're gonna see it going to opening balance equity, one or the other. I hope this tip has been helpful. If you have a credit card, you do the exact same thing. You just open up your credit card. You can edit it by the beginning balance or double click on it and change the beginning balance right here, if that's what you need to do. If you need more tips and tricks and you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe and you'll get them in your inbox, as well as when I'm doing workshops and other things, I let you guys know about it if you are get emails from me. 
And then if you want to help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, which is my online course. I have it for the desktop version and for QuickBooks online. And if you need help privately, one-on-one is what you're looking for. You just need help fixing a couple things. Feel free to go up above or down below. I'll share the link with you for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys inside the next tip and trick. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.